new addition I made to my living room to show you these pajamas. So yummy! Hello, besties! I hope you are all doing well. Today is Saturday, and it's actually afternoon. It's not even morning anymore. But I just got out of the shower, I washed my hair, um, you yeah, just had a proper self-care shower, um, because I felt like I needed something like that. Um, my boyfriend is inside watching some football, if you are hearing background noises. Um, but yeah, I thought I might just start this vlog, and if we are doing something, I will show you, but at the moment we are just chilling um i'm actually without a car at the moment because i had like a little issue with my car and it had to go in for repairs and yeah i, I um had to go give it in on tuesday morning and today is saturday and it has been the worst like i don't know like i've always had a car i got a car for my 18th birthday it was a very blessed in that regard so i never i never had to be without the car so it's such a weird thing for me now i need to ask my friends to come pick me up for work and yeah it's just weird i'm not used to it at all um but makes you grateful for what you do have so i'm counting down the days until i get it back hopefully early next week um but yeah so that is us we're not going anywhere really today i woke up this morning and um yeah i decided to do the washing i had a lot of white clothing that i wanted to give a proper wash um you know just to get that crisp whiteness back and um yeah i bought this like vanish um color safe thing because some of the white stuff has like other colors in it um, so I didn't just want to buy the white white thing so um, yeah it didn't really work like I soaked in it in that oil solution for like an hour and then I put it in the wash and I put some more of the liquid in the washing machine but it didn't really do much so if you have any recommendations of things that will make your clothes white white again um, Please let me know. I've seen people using the skip detergent, like fabric softener thing in your washing machine that's specifically for whites. But I don't know if that's gonna kind of help. I'm a very like, I wouldn't say I'm overly clumsy, but I am kind of a clumsy person. So yeah, wearing white as one of my favorite colors is a bit of a problem because I do tend to mess up myself or spill stuff or somehow I just end up with stuff on my white clothes in any case so yeah that is um how my morning has been and like I said I just took a shower and I'm just uh, chilling my skin is having a bit of a moment but that I think is because I haven't gotten back into my routine yet like I haven't worked out in the longest time like I'm a bit frustrated with myself because I know it's gonna make me feel better if I just work out because you know when you're out of your routine you just start feeling uh, about yourself and now I'm just like Ugh, I need to get back into it but honestly I just I can't get myself there I can't get myself out of bed in the morning to work out before work and when I get back home I'm just like Ugh, lying in bed just chilling so it's a bit of a frustration but I'm thinking baby steps so if I can just get myself to work out twice a week you know set out specific days for it so that i can just slowly get back into it because i also know i can't be too hard on myself with everything that's going on but i still feel like you know it's going to do me good if i actually stick to my routine that i had um so yeah um that is where we are at currently um and yeah, we've been watching this new show on Netflix. Um, the what? The Anatomy of a Scandal or something. Um, yeah, it's actually quite entertaining. Uh, we watched four episodes last night. And we're keeping the uh, last two for later today. Or maybe tonight. 
depending on what we end up doing. So enjoying that and then once the boyfriend is done with his football I will show you a little house update of something I changed. Um yeah I just felt like after everything it was so quiet in my house like I just wanted to make a little change. Um so yeah I'll show you that later whenever I can actually film there. everyone today is a new day today is Sunday and um, yeah yesterday I still wanted to show you the little new addition I made to my living room but then yeah we just ended up chilling the entire day so I didn't really get to that um, but yeah I um, Actually, let me just show you and then I'll talk to you. And I'm kind of whispering because my boyfriend is still asleep. And I don't want to wake him and have a grumpy voice then tomorrow it's my turn. So this is my new living room. Oh, I just kind of switched it up a little bit. Because I got a TV. I literally lived without a TV for three years and it didn't bother me. But yeah, since the thing, since my dad's passing, um, I've just, I didn't want to just sit in silence the whole time because, yeah, it's not good. So yeah, I, my couch was always there, but I turned it around so that it is obviously facing this. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put that picture that was on there yet. I'm still figuring that out, but yeah. So that is my couch, and then there's my little workspace. It's actually nice because it sections it off, kind of. So there's my workspace. Here's the chill space. So yesterday my boyfriend was watching his sports here, and I was chilling over there doing stuff on my focus, doing stuff on my laptop, and yeah, it's just really cozy. So that is the couch situation these pillows are starting to irritate me i love the middle one but these two i feel like needs to switch a switch up maybe i'll just buy some new cushion pillow covers yeah, i'm currently watching selling sunset and um this morning you would have seen i just i <laughs> baked some bread so my dough is currently rising um it needs to rise for like 1.5 hours yeah so it's currently rising and then yeah, I'm gonna make some coffee now and continue watching Selling Sunset and I'll show you whenever I go on with the bread baking process because it's so much fun and it's actually so easy. And before I charge my camera because it's flat, this TV I got from Take A Lot, it is a smart TV and it is 32 inch and honestly I don't think a bigger TV would have fit in this space. So I'm very happy with the TV. It was super easy to set up because I'm not the most technological person. So I was a bit like apprehensive if I'm, I'll be able to do it. Um, but yeah, I literally just plugged it in, set up my Google Gmail account because it's a, a Android 
what do you call it? Android TV or G series something. Um, so I'll link this TV that I got from Take a Lot in the description if you are perhaps looking for one as well. I'm really happy with it, the sound, the picture quality, all of that. So yeah, it was 2999. So it was the cheapest smart TV I saw because the other option was just to buy like a not a smart TV, just a normal HD TV and then get like an Android box to put in it. But um, that just would have worked out more expensive, so this was a great option. Okay, let's just ignore the fact that it's already like 2pm, I think, almost. And I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> um, actually, I want to show you these pajamas. They are the comfiest thing. It's actually, I think it's not even pajamas, pajamas. I think they said it was like loungewear. But for me, it's nice. PJs, it's from Woolies. Um, the JT1 brand at Woolies. And the pants, it's like these wide leg pants. And the pants were 250 I think. And then the shirt was 180 Um I love a matching set. So I do enjoy. But yeah, the reason why I'm here is because my bread is almost, well, it is ready to go into the oven. So now I need to um, make an egg wash or put the egg wash over it, just egg. And then I'm sprinkling some sesame seeds over um, to, yeah, just make it nice. I'm not gonna lie, this big one was a bit of a struggle to get the dough like over the whole thing. But the smaller one is perfect dough. So you first let the dough rise for like an hour and a half. Just the whole thing of dough. And then you um, divide the dough and then put it into the containers that you're going to bake them in. And then you um, let it rise for another hour. And then when that's done, you do your egg wash. And like I said, the sesame seeds. And then you put it in the oven. Um, okay, let's make the egg wash. I really need to get like, one of the, those brushes stuffies. That you can use to brush egg on because I don't have one at this point in time so I just use like a little bit of wax paper and then I just put it onto the bread like that. I guess you can uh, use your hands as well it's not like you know anything hectic but the brush will obviously just make it easier and go on evenly. Let's do that. Got this big one. I didn't put it in so nicely so now it's not like properly looks like the small one, you know. Am I even making sense? I don't think so. So I got this recipe, like if you had to tell me a year ago I'd be a br baking a bread, I will be like, haha, <laughs> maybe not. Um, I've always been a keen baker, like don't get me wrong, but I was always so intimidated with using yeast because it's so temperamental. But obviously my lovely friend Nadira, and I will link her channel below because she actually has a cooking YouTube channel. Um, she, this is her recipe. I'm actually not sure if the bread recipe is on her YouTube. But anyways, maybe I will tell her that that should be a next video. If it's not on there already. Um, so, yeah. I got the recipe from her and like, she explains it so nicely and it's really not that difficult to work with yeast. Um, I've made rutis and, okay, I don't think a ruti has yeast in, but, I don't know, I can't remember, but anyways, 
we've made rutis and naans and all of that lovely stuff so um yeah i got over my thing about yeast but wait let me show you actually get this a bit lower so the other are my two breads they have now been egg washed and now i'm gonna take the sesame seeds i actually want to film this for tiktok I like a lot of sesame seeds, so, you know, not being, using this sparingly. <laughs> but okay, I'm going to pop them in the oven, and oven, in the oven, and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. They're done! This is literally, I wish you could smell this. Mm. 